Hello, welcome back to the model bench and I am about to start work on the forecastle. So this is the area on the Titanic just at the stern at the front. It's where uh, Jack and Rose stood. He was king of the world. <laughs> we all remember that. So the trumpeter part comes with a lot of the parts molded on in plastic and um, they're not very detailed. So because I bought the KA kit I'm going to update all those parts. So the first thing I did was just remove all them. Also, I'm going to be laying down a deck on top of this. So we want this nice and flat. The deck will go on top, and then all the KA upgrade parts will go on top of that. So I literally just, most of them I just sanded off. A few little holes, then I filled. Oops, that's what I used to fill them. It's great little stuff, just comes out like toothpaste. And then I just fill the holes, let it harden, and then sand it. This main hole here, I just filled with a little bit of foam. Got that glued in place and then just put a skim of putty over it. Um, so all of this detail here will have to be removed because I have photo etched doors. Even that pipe there, I've got a little brass rod to put there. These portholes have to be removed. I've got little photo etch portholes and then little pieces to go here and those doors so I'm going to just sand all of that all of these basically just smooth get rid of them all and then I'll add the photo etch also my piece when it came out of the box was a little bit curved so it wasn't sitting flat into the model so what it is handy little tip what I did was I just filled the bowl with very hot water put the put the piece into it got it nice you know probably 30 seconds to a minute and then just got it out and start bending it back and then I would lay it down on a flat surface and once it cools then it will keep the new shape and it's pretty good now I've test fitted it and it, it works a lot better so um yeah so on with the show and I'll just get rid of uh, these okay so I've removed all that detail as you can see, it should be fine. I just use a combination of uh, sanding sticks, just, you know, fairly rough one just to get the surface detail off and then just went finer and finer. Um, the portholes, I just use an X-Acto knife. Just was able to peel them away. These ones on here were a little bit difficult, so I just got my knife and kind of slowly pared them away. And then a little bit of sandpaper in there then just to smooth them out. So now we're going to have a look at the photo etch that goes in there. So we're going to be using C21. And C21 is... Here we go. That's them there. So they're like little kind of foot, foot kind of steps. Kind of like a sail underneath the door. I'm using them um, and these. I'm going to be using these tiny little bits. And then and B, we're going to be using some of these doors. So we're going to cut off what we need and then we can go through it better. So I have a lot of the parts cut out and I don't know whether you can see that but they usually have little little bits just left over from when you cut them off. So I would just get a nice little foil, it doesn't have to be too rough. And just foil that off. Don't want any little bits sticking out. And just be very careful, you know, you, know, you don't want to rip bend the piece out of shape or take off more than you need to. You're really just getting the little rough bits off. So that's grand. Let's do the other side. And then that door can be just folded and that's ready to glue. That's one door. 
So I have all my pieces cut, ready to go. And um, these I just have to separate, but I'm gonna wait till I'm actually sticking them on. Most of these pieces I was able to fold, but just with using my fingers, you know, they're strong enough. Um, and these are gonna look amazing. But a couple of these parts I didn't bend by hand. I'm gonna use a photo etch bender. And I'm gonna show you that now. So this is the photo etch part bender that I've got. Picked it up off Amazon, I'll put a link down below. Um, there's loads of different ones available, but um, this one looked really good. Really pleased with it. This is how it comes packed. Just remove that. That's the photo etch bender. And then it also, which I really like, comes with its own blade. A lot of people say you can use just a little an old razor blade or whatever, but the fact that it comes with one is really good. So how do we use it? Just loosen this. As you can see, it's got all different settings for different size photographs. So I'm just going to loosen that and move it around. Like so. Then if we get one of our parts, put it in there. And you want to get the natural bend of the metal as close as possible to the edge that's what you're going to be bending so we got our blade just walk it underneath and then literally just bend it like that these pieces have to go completely flat together so once I remove it I can just then fold the rest by hand There we go, that piece is nicely done, ready to go. So here is where I'm at. Um, <clears throat> got all the photo etch stuck onto the forecastle. So as you can see, there's a huge difference. I'll put up an image now of how it looked before. And now these are all the photo etch parts stuck on. Little brass rod. I just bent around here. It's obviously meant to be some kind of piping. The doors now have their proper little sills. And we've got the two nice little portholes here and some supporting beams. It's not a hundred percent perfect, but I'm really pleased with it. I then gave it a coat of um Tamiya flat white. Here we go. And then I just have to do halfway up. I just have to do um, the dark mass color. Um, I also did the front here. I just airbrushed it all in black. No, sorry, airbrushed it all in the flat white first. Then I masked off the white. And I, first of all, airbrushed flat black, XF1. And then I just did a dusting of NATO black, XF69. I think that's a really good color because it's not jet jet black so it's just a nice dusty color but I'm really pleased with that um, and just to show you this would be the deck that goes on top as you can see just finishes it off amazingly that's going to be stuck down there and then obviously all the deck pieces will go on top but really pleased with how that turned out then obviously the anchor goes in there so it's coming along really nicely so i have the piece masked ready to go that will obviously stay white and then i'm going to spray all the bottom the dark masked color which is kind of like an orangey brown so we'll get on and do that so now i finished airbrushing dark mass color and I also just scratch built one of the little kick steps there on both sides of these because we didn't have I didn't have any um, brass photo etch part so that worked out really well really pleased with that huge difference again if you compare this with the uh, kit 
think there's a huge difference there. So what I'm going to do now is apply the decking. And that's just going to be glued in place here. I'm just going to use some CA glue, just like that. That should really finish it off very nicely. So what we're going to do is <coughs> add a bit of brush and again you don't want too much because uh probably will squirt out once you put on the deck so it's gonna lightly brush this on ca glue is good because it gives you a little bit of working time and the piece will also be able to move and just get it into place you can imagine if you use super glue if you don't get it right exactly first time that's when you run into problems and what I'll do then is I'll, um, I'll clamp the piece up make sure it's nice and uh, flat hopefully that'll be enough Don't want those to the holes for the masks, so we don't want them full or getting f clogged up. But we want glue right along the edges because we don't want, we obviously, don't want the deck peeling at these corners. But if it does, we can just get a cocktail stick or whatever and put some under there. I think that's just about it. Fingers crossed now we get this in one go. Nice bit of glue on there. I think this will really finish off the forecastle. It should look really nice. And just a reminder, this is the scale scale decks. This stair decking, which I think is just really lovely. Right, so here we go. That's great, as you can see, just, just a little bit of give. So I can get that. I'm just going to start from the middle and walk out towards the edges. good really happy with that yeah, I'm just gonna get a bit of a tissue with that. So now what I'm going to do is just cut out a bit of paper. I'm just going to lay that on and then put my clips. But the first thing I'm going to do, because there's glue there, I forgot, I'm going to just cut a little bit of it. few of these clips just to keep everything in place. And the paper's just going to stop the clips damaging the surface. I hope. We shall see. Yeah, looks pretty good. Happy with that. We'll just let that cure, let it dry, and then we'll have a look. Hopefully all the edges will be pretty good. If not, I can just put a little bit of glue underneath. OK, 
keep everything in place but I think that should be pretty good okay here is the deck finished turned out pretty good the only thing is I did get a couple of little ripples in it but I think I'll get away with it once all the equipment is on the deck and the whole lot I think I should be okay I'm not going to worry too much about it but just as a little tip if you're doing your own just make sure you have glue everywhere I really should have put glue on the on the decking itself as well but um yeah and just really smooth it out start from the middle smooth it all the way out so but like I say it's fine you know should be okay that finishes it off really nice so I think I'm going to call that done for now I probably won't install everything on top here until it's actually sit in the ship just in case you know um, so I'll probably move on to a different section now okay hope you enjoyed the video if you did I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe more good stuff coming down the line and until the next video take care bye